Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. This could help both the grade 11 and 12 learners because I know sometimes you need some ideas on what to do with arrays and text files in your pad. In one of my previous videos I showed you how to make use of the DB Navigator. It would be important to go and watch that video first because we need this setup to do what we're going to do next. So first watch that, set up your program to make use of your own pad tables and database and make use of your DB Navigator. Then come back to this one. It is important that your text files and arrays don't share exactly the same data. But as an idea, you could make use of a primary key of one of your tables and then make use of that in your text file and then add more information about the, those records. So what I've done in this program, the region was, was used as the primary key of my parent table and then as the foreign key of my child table. But I now took one of each of the regions and placed it here in the text file and then added other information about that region that is not stored in the database. So Italy has uh, regions and then they also have major regions. That's the south and north east and so on that you see. And then linked to that, if you look in Wikipedia, you will see that there is major cities linked to a region as well. And then just for the fun of it, I randomly allocated true and false values to each of these regions to indicate whether they have free Wi-Fi or not because I know you guys can't live without Wi-Fi so now you can see where you can travel to. Now this data you need to set up of course for your own uh, data that you want to store in the text file. Then I also created arrays for these so I'm going to read in form and activate I'm going to read these values into one, two, three, four arrays that I'll show you now. Here are my arrays and I'm going to store the Wi-Fi one as a Boolean data type and the other three as string. And I'm also using a global counter to determine how many items I have in those arrays. In Form 1 Activate, I now read from that text file into the arrays as we always do. And after form and activate ran, my arrays will all have values. Don't forget your close file. If you want to watch and do with me, I suggest that you get up to this point before you continue to watch. I want to show you what will happen if we implement the code we're going to look at next. Is when I click on one or change the region here. It uses this region to display information about my arrays. So you can see more information about Sicily region or whichever region is currently showing in that DB edit. In our previous video where we spoke about the DB navigator, we did this part here. S region is getting input from the user from whichever record at that point is active in the DB edit. And this just ran my SQL statement to display in the DB grid. So this part here I added. I've set B found to false and I'm making use of a while loop because uh, the one region appears only once in my array. So I want to make it the loop stop if I find it. Of course if you your program is different or your text file and your arrays are different and you're going to find more than one set of output for the input, make use of a for loop. It is important to always just clear your rich edits in your path before you display, else you see the previous clicks as well. And this heading here is really input from the user that I'm displaying. Now our normal method of using our while loop to loop through my arrays and making it stop once it's found. So initialize k, see that it's less than I count. There I'm inking k. I'm searching for the region that is in the db edit. And once it finds it, I will then display the 
parallel arrays. But before I do that, remember a Boolean array, I can't display directly in my rich edit. So I want to first test, is it true, then make use of that local variable to say yes or no. So I'm able to display whether they have free Wi-Fi wi or not. And the rest here is just displaying from the parallel arrays, the macro region that I found in K, the major cities that I found in position K, or the major single city, and then the Wi-Fi. So that's really it, but I think it could be quite useful. Of course, to get to this point, you need to follow several other steps. First, to make use of that DB edit. Just another idea is you could populate a combo box with a primary key of a table. So in this example, it was the region. And then apply the same code that we did in the DB grid. We can apply the same code when from the text file into the array and form and activate. And then depending on what they click on here, information will be displayed there. I'll quickly show you what I did. Before we use this code, I did it in form and activate. Uh, it is important to set your active property to true or you could have it up open. You can also do it in your object inspector. But then you would loop through this table. This is an add a table component. And then you make use of the code. This is the name of the combo box on that form. Dot items dot add and add one of each region to the combo box and then my dot next. Remember then also to write something to say dot text, select a region, uh, just so that the user knows what to do. So when I run my program, it reads data from my database and it populates my combo box here. So let's show you what I did then in the combo box. Double click on your combo box and only thing that changed here was my input. So I just got input from the user where they selected the region and the rest of the information is still, or the code is still the same. Thank you guys for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials. I hope this helps and good luck with your pet. Hope to see you soon.